it's Caitlin from Fashion and Folk. This is gonna be my first vintage thrift haul video and I'm super excited to show you guys a little piece of my wardrobe. Um, these are pieces that I've gotten from places like Goodwill, Depop, eBay, antique stores. So let's just get into the first item. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with some of my dresses. The first one is this mini blue western style dress. I got this from Goodwill probably a couple months ago and I just thought it was really unique. I love the puff out shoulders. It looks really cool when you have it on. And then it has this red piping with the red buttons that goes down to the wrists as well, which is really different. And if I would have to guess an era, I would say probably a 70s dress. It is a union made dress which it has on this little tag right here. It's just super cute. So this next dress is so pretty. It's this pastel blue. It gives me like 30s to 40s vibes because the floral motif has more of a folk look to it. I got this from Goodwill. Just looking at the construction of the dress, I think it was handmade. I don't see any tags, um, but it showcases these butterfly sleeves, which is super cute when you put it on. It has a ruched chest and then ties in the back, and it is a mini. This is a really cute dress for the cottage core, farm core aesthetic that's going around right now. You could wear it to go to a picnic or go to the greenhouse and it's just really flattering and cute. So the next dress is this black gingham print dress and this was actually a maxi dress but I cropped it into a mini just because I thought it had that baby doll silhouette to it which is really cute and I love that you can either play this up really like 90s grunge or you can take it to the whole 70s prairie look which is super cute and in right now. Uh, I thrifted this from Goodwill a couple months ago as well. The next dress gives me major spring vibes. It is a vintage Sears dress, which is one of my favorite brands to find at the thrift. They always have the cutest like 60s and 70s prairie dresses, but this collar is just to die for. It has the lace, the embroidery, has these little buttons, and then it has a puff sleeve on it. It is a midi dress, so it comes just below the knee. And I think it's super cute to wear with my go-go boots. You guys, this is the prettiest dress I've ever seen. I got this off of eBay. It is like a 70s prairie style dress, but it's a mini, which is kind of rare. It has this lace collar with the puff shoulder that goes into the tight sleeve with the lace the whole way down. And this is a micro mini, so it's really short, but I love to wear it with tights and then my knee-high go-go boots as well. And it's just super cute. It has that whole prairie hippie vibe. this floral 90s dress by Misconduct California. It has these shoulder pads, faux pearl buttons that go about halfway down. This is also a midi dress so it goes right to the knee and then it has these ties up the back and it's a pretty stretchy material so it's really flattering. This is another dress that I can just throw on and go to the greenhouse or go to the market or wherever I need to go in the spring and summer. 
it's just super easy and these kind of floral dresses are a basic in my wardrobe. So this skirt I actually thrifted from Goodwill. It's this silk floral skirt from the 90s by Francine Browner. And it gives me Renaissance Baroque painting vibes with all the colors and the way the flowers are rendered. I just think it's so pretty and you can either go really grunge with it or you can play it up to have that girly renaissance vibe. And in my opinion, I think maxi skirts are perfect for spring because you can always make them super casual if you just pair this with a little crop top and some white sneakers. are basic in my wardrobe as well. This one is from Sears, which is one of my favorites. It has this lace ruffle collar and then it also does the same thing down at the sleeve and it's a button up. And these are just the perfect pieces. You can either layer them under dresses or you can just wear them by themselves with a mini skirt and they're just really flattering and they give that nod back to the Victorian era, which I love. So this next top actually used to be a maxi dress, but I actually cropped it because it had a huge stain on the front, but I just couldn't pass it up. It's this 30s, maybe 20s sheer material with lace, and it has this Peter Pan lace collar as well. I just think it's super girly, and it nods back to that Victorian era as well. It's a really ethereal, girly design, but you can also edge stuff like this up with black or Doc Martens, and you can just take it in a whole nother direction. And then this dress that I'm actually wearing is from the 30s or 40s. It's also sheer, and it has this floral pattern on it but then it has this really dramatic pointed collar, which I'm obsessed with. Anything with an oversized collar I just think is the cutest. And it's just really like ethereal and has heavenly girly vibes. So I recently thrifted this two-piece set at Goodwill, and this is the pattern, and then it has a midi-length skirt as well. I think it's a 70s design, but you guys, the collar on this is insane. How can I show you? It goes the whole way down to here. You'll see it on the try-on portion, but it's so cute. It's so prairie. I just love it so much. I'm obsessed with these collars, like I said before. I just think they're so unique and so cute. And then the skirt is really stretchy and it has that flowiness and it's really airy too for spring. vest. I got it from Goodwill. It's by a brand called Tabby Sportswear. The tag's really cute. Um, it gives me 60s vibes. It has that whole tapestry carpet kind of look to it and it has the earth tones which I love. And then at the bottom it had the little fringes that you see on some of those kind of blankets. I think it's the perfect addition to the white top that I showed you guys. Throw this over that top with a mini skirt and you're good to go. For shoes, I'm going to show you guys 
these vintage go go boots that I got. They're kind of hard to show holding up because they're really soft suede, so they want to fall down. But I'll show you in the try on portion. They're kind of like a prairie version of a mod go go boot, which is just so me. And I love all the black piping around it, which gives me military, but also like band vibes just super cool they're knee-high boots and i got these off of depop so my first accessory is this vintage bonnet and i actually picked this up at a local antique store i'm thinking it's from the 70s but it gives that nod back to Victorian fashion of the 1800s. And I just think it's super Little House on the Prairie. I think it's really cute, honestly. It's just really different and unique. And it just kind of like gives like an elegance to any outfit, I feel like. And it's just really different. And I really wish that they would come back in style. I'm gonna make it happen. for watching you guys this was so fun to just kind of go through my closet and pick out some pieces that I really love and I definitely want to do this again because I'm always thrifting and I have so many clothes that I could go through it's basically all I do when I have spare time I just love it so much so yeah thank you so much for watching